Hi guys, we're going to take a look at some hair scoot in here. And um, I get a lot of questions about hair. And really what you want to do with hair is you want to focus on the sh uh, shape of the hair more than the individual sort of lines. So what I'm talking about is, you know, you don't want to just sort of go in and start doing lines like this. It can look stringy and it look, can look kind of weird. And uh, again, what we really want to do is we want to focus on that overall shape of the hair. So I have some sort of little head templates here that we're going to do different styles of hair on and really look at, you know, how to draw them and how we focus on the shape uh, more than those individual lines. And again, I'm going to go through and, and do some various uh, shades and shapes of hair. So I want to start with some of the basics. So um, let's start here and let's do a sort of wavy hair, not really curly, not really straight, just kind of wavy, maybe layered. And um, again, what you want to do is you want to focus on the shape. So if we have maybe like the eye line here, um, this, I'm not really going to see the hairline too much because it's not going to be pulled back, but I'm going to have sort of, you know, maybe like a, it's parted on the side and it, it kind of swoops like that. And from there, we can kind of bring it up and then kind of, you know, put some waves in it. And, you know, I like a little curl or something and, you know, bring it down and uh, let's do the other side. Again, we kind of have this, maybe we see a little bit of like curling here. Um, and then oh, just the shape, again, bringing it, maybe we see the little shoulders or something here. And that's what I want to really focus on when I'm talking about the shape. So again, I did sort of the shape of the hair going around the head. Now I'm going to erase away my pencil so I don't get any graphite in my pen. And let's go ahead and color it in. Now, um, the way that you can do it perfectly flat, a flat color, that's fine. I'm going to show you a different, a uh, couple different ways to do it too. So let's do a brown color here. So I have brown color marker. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill it in flat color. We're going to start simple. And again, I'm going to follow that shape that I created. Little whoop. I like the little whoops. And of course, like always, you can use the streaking of the marker to create different tones. If you want some coming, we'll do maybe over the shoulder here. Let's assume it's all brushed back here behind the shoulder, but maybe over here we'll have some over the shoulder. Again, I'm going to go back and refine it. We don't want to leave streaks. And let's do the other side. Cute little curl. We'll frame her eye really nicely. And then maybe we have a little bit of something coming over the shoulder here. The rest will fall behind. Now again, that's all we really need to do. If you don't want to leave it there, that's fine. Um, if you want to go in and add a little bit more depth to it, you can. So I'm going to go in with starting from light to dark. I'll try with my cool grain number one. And what I want to do is just to create a little bit of depth to this. See where it kind of goes in? I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow. Now this might be a little too light, so I might go and step to my next darker color, which should be a two. Oh, here's my two. So just so we see it a little bit more. And then there we go. That might be just fine. I don't want it too much. Just a little bit of depth to the hair. So right there where it goes in, a little bit right there. And I imagine we'll see it, you know, that light coming down like this. 
So again, we'll have maybe some more shadow on this side. Kind of coming down there like that. And then anywhere where it kind of really kind of pokes out. So we have this little curl here. So to make that poke out, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow there. And it is going down behind the head here. So I want to put shadow where it's going behind the body. And this is going to kind of come out. So I'm going to leave that and that'll kind of just kick it out a little bit um, right there. Same thing on this side, it goes behind the head and behind the shoulders all the way here. So I'm gonna go and just put a little bit of shadow in and sort of bleed it up. And anywhere where it kind of dips in, I'm gonna put maybe a little bit of shadow, just a little bit, just to give it a little volume. Here we have a little whoop. So maybe just a little bit here and a little bit underneath here give it that little bit of volume, okay? And again, that's all we really need to do. We don't need to do the lines, which takes a long time and ends up not really looking that nice, okay? Now what I'm gonna do over here on this one is I'm gonna do some stray hair, maybe with some bangs. So again, I wanna focus on the shape of, um, we can finish just so we have a little bit more of a face here. You can see a little bit of our ear here. So maybe you're seeing the side of the head, maybe a little bit of the ear. And of course, my own to see. So she looks like she's a person. Now, if you're doing a dark color hair, you can always do the eyes or in the face first and everything because the dark will go over it. But if you're doing a lighter color hair, you probably want to do the hair first and then the face, especially if some of it's going to go over the face and cover like an eyebrow or something like that. So over here, we're going to do a uh, straight color hair, or <laughs> straight color, a straight style hair. I'll probably do it in black this time. Um, and let's give her some bangs. Uh, just to sort of change it up a little bit and there's my eye line So it gives me kind of a rough idea of where the bangs should go and the bangs usually go kind of straight across So again that shape and it's it's sort of almost like a, a half circle that that shape will kind of come up and then we'll have it kind of parted in the middle and Again, just come straight down. It's straight hair. So they're not gonna have those big lumps and kind of uh, curls and things like that going on And uh, you can decide how much you want it brushed back by how much you see in the face. So let's say it's, it's really coming forward on one side. So we have it maybe even coming over the shoulder and it's going to cut off part of the face on this side. And let's have it brushed back over here. So we may even see a little bit of the ear. Again, still kind of coming around and coming straight down. But it's going to be brushed behind the shoulder. And we'll see more of the side of the face here and maybe a little bit of the hairline right in here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase everything I don't need. It's not too important since so I'm going to do this black. And I'm going to come in with my black marker and uh, go ahead and draw it in. Now with the bangs, what I want to do is I want to leave some breaks and this is going to make them look really um uh very real and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and with a sort of finer point pen kind of break it up and then down and you know not too completely straight leave a little wiggle and then maybe come up and then down and then maybe one more up to you maybe one more uh -huh. who knows up to you and those little breaks are really going to sort of mimic how the hair falls uh, now from here I can go in and really do everything that I want now I don't have the ability to um, really shade a darker color for this hair so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the highlights and with black we can do that one of two ways I can leave the white of the page and then work with that 
but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use um, a, a white charcoal pencil or a white colored pencil afterward to put in a little bit of the shine. So I'm going to just color this in all nice and solid and black. And again, I kind of leave a little wiggle of a line at the bottom here. Um, I don't want it perfectly straight across because it is hair. I mean, even if you get it perfectly cut, it's still going to have a little bit of a wiggle. So we see that. And of course, I'm going to kind of cut it here. Now I'll define the front and back with the highlight after. So we can see that sort of piece that's coming in the uh, front a little bit better than what's going on behind her. And then using my outline, I might even want to switch. This is a very thick fat um, nib with that. So with this finer part, because I certainly do want to leave <clears throat> that um, lovely little cut so that I made those these guys in here. So I'm going to use a uh, actually a brush pen. This is a brush pen, but a finer nib. So I have a little bit more control over not filling in those little parts that I didn't want filled in. I'm going to leave those. Let me let those show the skin tone underneath if I had done skin tone. So those just little cuts, again, just make them feel like bangs, like the hair is falling apart. Again, without doing those little individual lines, and again, just really focusing on that overall shape. Now that the fine bit is done, we can go back to the express filler in her. Okay, now that we're here, again, you know, just like with any colors that are really dark, you want to focus on the highlight as opposed to colors that are um, a little bit lighter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to focus on the details. So again, right here, remember this comes forward. So I'm going to do a little bit of this and then maybe I can just do a little bit of shine, you know, where the light is going to hit the hair. And again, this will make it look a little bit shinier, a little bit nicer. And you can do this with any color hair because any color hair can be shiny. Just shows up real nice on black hair. Maybe a little bit right here and yeah, not too much on this side because this is not where, again, my light is coming. So just a little bit, a little bit all, all the way down here because that's coming in front. Good. Nothing more. All right. Let's move on to this one. And let's do some really curly hair. Now, really curly hair is super fun to draw. I love drawing super curly hair because it has great shape to it and all little nuances to it. So let's imagine this girl has some really curly hair and um, let's look at what shapes that it will create. So um, it will most certainly hide uh, most of the hairline. 
and we're going to look at some really, maybe she's got it part, parted on the sign, just like this one. I'm going to really focus on those just curly shapes, and she might have a lot kind of coming. It's really full and curly and, and fun, uh, a lot kind of blocking around the side or framing the side of her face. And I'm going to just not skimp on the size, first of all, and on those lovely little fun curly shapes. And let's assume that it is coming out in front of her shoulders. Again, I'm doing the little sort of two, two different things, a little round hump like this, and then interspersed with maybe a little, little um, you know, curl that's coming out loose kind of wild and free. <laughs> so there's our shape for our super curly hair. And um, let's do maybe a darker brown this time. I'll try to get run through a bunch of different colors too, just so you can see. Um, so let's do, yeah, a darker brown. <clears throat> And again, now that I have the shape, I'm pretty much just going to color it in flat. Ooh. Using the tip of my nib for those little curly bits. So I want them to be kind of nice and sharp. to put a little curl right by the eyes tends to kind of reinforce the eyes make a really nice little line there now I'll fill it in I'm gonna fill it in flat So there's our curly head. And most of the sides of the neck too are kind of, let's make sure that we see these nice curls are gonna be um, uh, sort of covered. So we're having a lot of our, our sort of side details. We're certainly not gonna get any ear. And we may even have, you know, a little bit. Not doing faces for all of them but just so you kind of see so now you know we have it uh, really coming in very very close uh again we're not going to see a lot of the shoulders or the necks but you can always brush back your curly hair if you want it to now let's give her a little bit more depth and so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go ahead and use that same white charcoal pencil but if you want to if you want to you know keep it a little bit more colorful you can do a sort of lighter tan, or I'm going to uh, uh, see how this looks. It's a yellow colored pencil. And um, I'm just going to sort of spot in some highlights to give it a little bit more of kind of a glow. Now I might temper, it's a very yellow, so I might temper this with like a little bit of white. And again, my light is coming down here, so I want to focus this, these highlights 
where the light is falling. And again, I'm going to keep it very patchy because it's very bumpy. The curls create a lot of textures and bumps, so I'm not going to do it very smooth. And that'll keep with the sort of feeling of the curly hair. And then maybe a little bit on this side, but not too much, keeping it mostly on this side that's not too bad let me just highlight it a little bit more and then temper that color with a little bit of white and i'm going to use my white colored pencil or oh, my white charcoal pencil for that but you can use the white colored pencil too and again just letting letting the light hit where it hits little bit over here, not too much. A little bit, a little bit. Maybe a little bit there. And again, you can kind of rub it in if you want to soften it. A little bit. And that'll give you, again, now it's starting to feel a little bit more textured and you're getting a little bit more volume. And if you want even more than that, you can shade it as well. Uh, so I'll go ahead and grab a uh, fairly dark um, colored marker and I'm going to keep most of it over here. That might be too dark. Let me bump it back up. Or here, let me, I'll do it with a little darker colored pencil so I can keep a light hand and then blend it in afterwards. Give the same sort of effect as I colored in with the uh, highlights. And again, now this side I want to do a little bit more shadow. This is the shadow side. And just kind of bump it along. I'm going to blend it in. I'm keeping a light hand because I don't want these really to be black. I want it to blend in with the brown. Kind of rub it in, soften it, let it blend in with that brown color. And just bubble it, bubble it. And we'll do a little bit, a little bit on this side, especially closer to the face. That's going to give you that nice texture that the curly hair deserves. Okay, so let's move on. And um, I haven't done a blonde hair yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to do red because I don't know where my red colored pencils are. I don't know if I should have one. I think I could do one. And let's look at a few other um, hairstyles. So let's do one that's sort of like a very short. We've done all kind of long hairstyles. Let's do a short one, maybe like a bob or like, you know, kind of almost like a Marilyn Monroe cut. So she's not gonna have anything down here, but um, let's do a, uh, yeah, let's do sort of Marilyn Monroe. And she had, you know, it was a short of short hair, but it was very fluffy, you know, kind of, and it swoops down and kind of has this sort of fun thing and has like little bits of curls, but again, it doesn't end too far. It's very short. Again, kind of like a little bit of curl down here. Something maybe a little bit like this. And then of course we might see the bottom part of the ear peeking out like so. Now since this is gonna be light, it is gonna be quite important that I erase away that graphite. because I don't want it coming in. And I'm gonna do this with a colored pencil because I don't know where my yellow marker is. I really don't want this graphite to sully the light color, so I'm gonna get rid of most of it, just so I can just barely see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and again, um, with all you guys that are using too light a hand with your colored pencil, you really wanna use a heavy hand because you want a nice, even color tone like this. 
And again, at this point, I can start to, since I am using the colored pencil, it's a little bit easier for me to just leave page white as a little bit of a shine here. So I'm gonna do that right here. And then we have, doo -doo -doo, just coming in here. Again, you want that nice, rich color from your colored pencils. Don't be afraid to go over it a couple times and use a heavy hand if need be. I'm not going to have the same sort of shine on this side because that's not where the light is hitting. Now with a very light color like this, um, you really are going to want to go back and do a little bit of an outline just to help sort of pop it out. And see how, how much that really works to sort of pop out the hairstyle. So there's our light colored hair, and of course we see our few little ears coming in. Just the bottoms. Just like so. And of course with any uh, style here, so you obviously don't need the black outline with black hair, or if it gets a little dark, it's, it's not really that necessary. But you know, for this too, I might go back and just to Again, help it pop out really does help your drawings to stand out to have that little black outline. So on and so forth. So let's go to a few other, I've got a few more other rows to get through. So um, some commonly asked uh, questions for me uh, for different hairstyles. These are sort of our standard ones. Um, what about, um, let's say, uh, actually I'm kind of running out of room. I don't have a lot of top room here, so I might move these down a little bit as we go. Um, what about, you know, uh, updos or buns or whatever else. So um, I'm going to do sort of your updo here, show you kind of different stages. So with this, the outline of the shape and the hairline are really important because it's going to be pulled back and like a ponytail or a bun or whatever else. And I think this will end up being sort of like a, I'm going to do the sort of Ariana Grande ponytail. They're fun too. They can give a lot of like little movement. So obviously you want your ears to show and you want to get your hairline in there. So let's get an eye line first. So I have a little bit better idea. So I'm going to put in here and kind of wiggle it off to the side. It's going to kind of wiggle off and then just at sort of the top of the ears. And that's all we really need to do. So if it was pulled back and you don't see the bun in back, that's all you would really need. If you saw a little bit of the bun at the top here, you just need like a little bit of something like that. Now let's do that sort of ponytail, which starts with this, but we have, you know, she puts it right really on the top of her head. So we'd see something sort of like this right here, and then the hair kind of flowing down and around. And that's what's kind of fun about it. And you can really make it do a lot of really kind of fun things. And I'm gonna make it come in front of the shoulder because we wanna sort of show it off. And maybe it sort of spills out here. And here I kind of wanna show 
you know, how the hair is sort of separating. Uh, but again, I don't want to do it in lines. I just, I want to keep the shapes. So it's kind of hard to see in the bottom there. Maybe I need to shorten this hair, do a little bit. So let's make it not quite as long, but you can go ahead and make it as long as you want, of course. And then we'll see it break up just a little bit, sort of at the end with whatever it's doing. Maybe we'll even get different sort of strands flowing out like so. Okay, now we can go ahead and color it in and um, let's do black again. And like I said, because of its ease to go over the face and anything else, I kind of, I do prefer doing darker hair colors. I just find it easier to draw. But of course it really depends on what you're going for, what looks good with your outfit, blah, blah, blah. Whoa. And we'll kind of go up and around, up and around, that nice lovely shape and flow it out, kind of have fun with it. I put it off to the side, you can have it go straight back, you can have it go to the other side, up to you. Here. And then what I want to do is again I want to split it up, but I don't want it to look stringy. I want to still be focusing on those shapes. Maybe not draw over the ear. sort of splitting up and sort of fanning out at the end. And again, it doesn't need to do this either, just we haven't done this yet, so. Sort of the similar of having it break in um, the bangs. Show a little bit of break here and there, but keep, for the most part, keep it together. more right in here so we have that kind of coming and then sort of flaring out over her shoulder and of course we can do the highlights the same way as we did before with the white colored pencil so here I want to make just a difference this is more of a detail than a highlight but I just want to show that is the hair on this side and that's sort of the hair coming there so that light's going to come this way so we're going to get a lot <laughs> shadow right here or highlight 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 and then it's kind of sitting on the shoulder here so it's also going to kind of get a line of highlight here and then it sort of splits up so they might get their own little highlights coming in there as well and we might get a little bit of shine right here as well all right so there's our ponytail um, let's go over here and do another cut. Let's do, let's do an afro. Afros are, they're right along with the, um, the curly hair and they are super fun because they give us this lovely silhouette, um, which can be very striking and just, just really fun shape. So again, what I want to do, just if you haven't known, you want to focus on the shape. So uh, if it's full, it's going to kind of come uh, in a sort of halo around the head. So if you want to sort of give yourself an idea of how big you want it, you can just sort of start with sort of like a halo. 
And then um, you'll see, it's very similar to this, where we'll see the bottom of the ears, but not the top. And it'll follow a little bit the hairline because it's going to kind of come up. So we'll see oh, kind of the hairline, but the hairline's going to be just a little bit more kind of wiggly. And then kind of blend into the rest over here. And then, of course, we want to just go ahead and put in a little bit of texture. This is really dependent on kind of how manicured it is. So we can do just very little if it's very, very tight and very, very manicured, but it's a little bit more floofy, floofy, we can make it that way. Again, doing the sort of same little kind of wiggly marks I use for the curly hair, maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter, but very similar. Now we have this great fun shape and I should have made it a little bit more even on this side. So I'm going to push it out a little bit more over here just for symmetry sake. And uh, yeah, we'll do this one black too. So again, what I do for the most part is just fill it in flat black. I might switch to a finer nib for the little details on the edge. But let's keep this pretty flat black. Here, since we're just kind of wiggling in a little bit here, I don't need to do too much with the fine point. Again, careful, you don't want those little bits of the bottom of the ear to show. All right, now for the little floofies, I'm gonna to switch to just a smaller one. Again, remember, because these were a lot tighter even than the curlier ones, so I, I just wanna do, use a finer little brush pen here to get those little details so they don't become blunt. Just a little texture on the side. And again, this is going to all depend on sort of how it's styled. Okay. And there we are. Just a little eye line in for reference. And um, let's move on and let's think. What have I gotten requests for? Our, uh, I have also gotten um, requests sometimes for braids or maybe like big corn rolls. And again, it's all about the shape, so I can't really repeat that enough sort of get the uh, idea of the eye lines. So if we're gonna do sort of braids in the hair, 
Um, we might just say how we do like a long braid too. I'll show you that in maybe the last one. Um, but if we're gonna do, again, it's it's really about this, um, the shape. So what we're gonna see, and I will kind of just wanna have an idea of where the hairline, because that's where they're gonna start. And again, just sort of get like an idea of the shape coming down and we're going to have these sort of, you know, the shapes of the braids themselves coming through here. I'm going to obviously try to keep them evenly shaped. A couple on the side coming here. And then of course, since this is sort of like, almost like a, uh, having it up, we're going to pull up, see the full ear. And what to do to help you sort of even them out too is you can kind of just put lines where you want them to sort of make sure that you're going to do them even on both sides or however you want them if you want them asymmetrical. But at the end of the day, you want them to look good. So however you do them. So there's our basic um, sort of shape. So I'm going to go ahead and let me do, I'll do yeah, like that dark brown and uh, fill in the color. And keep it kind of wiggly because again, the braid is not super even. It has a little bit of lump to it where we pass the hair. Now, since this has a little bit more detail to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more of a black outline to help because I don't want to leave the spaces in between page white. That would look very weird. What I'm going to do is go with a black pen and do my outline of the sort of braid. I'm just going to kind of um, bring alternating sort of loops kind of coming through overlapping. And again, I'm just sort of indicating it. I'm not too worried about every little braid loop being perfectly accurate. I'm just given a shape. And now that I have that done, I'm going to go back and um, use my brown to just go and fill in Oh, that's a different brown. <laughs> the inner parts. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to shade that. So I'm going to bring those down and close to the head and let the um, braid stand out a little bit more. Again, we're going to bring that across, give herself a little bit of a hairline. And again, I really want the braids themselves to stick out along that line. So that's what really is bringing them up and over. And I'll go back in here, just sort of smooth those out so we can really see how those are kind of popping up. And of course we can give um, a little bit of highlight to the tops of them, which again, will give it a little bit more texture and then shade the in-between, which will let them stand out a little bit more, sort of let the rest of it sink down and the rest pop up. So there we are. We've got braids going back. 
Um, and then the last one, what have I not done? Do, 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 do. And if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you want to see done, if I haven't done or you're a little, you know, um, uncertain on how to do it. Oh, I didn't shade the, here, we want to do a little highlight here. Again, just like this, we want to keep it very jumpy, even sort of smaller and tighter. And I'm going to focus again on the highlight. So I'm going to keep it right here where the, the, the light is hitting. So again, you don't need this. But it's nice to have, I guess. Give it a little bit of more depth. And we can soften it up a little bit. Move down. Okay. Just a little bit of just a little bit of something. Um hmm. what should we do to maybe something fun? Let's just do a um Do a crazy mohawk or something. When I was going to college, they had these things called faux hawks that were popular for a hot second, and they were mohawks that didn't stand up quite all the way. Kind of went like this. And you'd go back with them. You have this sort of swooping here. It's almost like an anime here. Maybe I'll do it in anime color. And then it wasn't quite shaved on the side it was just maybe a little bit shorter <laughs> this looks silly well it was silly if we bring that focus on the shape just to sort of do something weird and different oh, <laughs> it actually looks terrible so fall hawks look terrible now and then um, maybe I should have looked at a picture. Let me try to do something else that's more normal. I'm trying to think of something we haven't done. Um, I'm going to do another short hairstyle. Maybe like a little pixie cut that's sort of straight, but like kind of all in the face a little bit. So short, and coming around here like this. All right, that looks normal-ish. It's a lot of hair in the face, but for example, here's the eye line. So we're really gonna get these bangs sort of to go almost in the eyes. So this is a definitely one that you would want to do the hair first and then draw in, especially if it was a lighter color. And I guess let's, why not make it a lighter color? Well, let's do a fun color, unnatural color. Let's do a pink. Pink markers drying out. I'll do my best. Yeah, kind of lends to the shagginess of the style. So from there again for light colors, I really want to uh, go ahead and put that black outline just to kind of bring it all together.
And this would be definitely something I'd focus more on the shadow than the highlight. Um, even, well, maybe not dark. I'll do my cool gray. It's parted here, so I want a little bit of shadow here. And again, it's coming around the face here, so I'm going to kind of just... What is pushed back is going to be a little bit darker here, and then maybe a little shadow on this side. Maybe just to give a little bit of depth to the tresses. With my <laughs> how to draw when your markers are all out of juice. So I'm going to switch to my color pencil because I need to get new markers, apparently. And so on and so forth. Um, so again, there we are, a bunch of different hairstyles to choose from, but I think the real main takeaway from this is to focus on shape, uh, the overall shape of the hairstyle more than anything else. Um, so hopefully this was helpful in some way, and I'll see you guys a little later. Bye-bye.